friends, what a day, what a weekend. Welcome back to the vlog channel. <laughs> um, okay, so, I just got in the car from Chipotle. Y'all, it is so cold. Um, I ordered a tripod that can sit on my dash and screw the camera in so hopefully car vlogs will be a little bit better now and they won't be so shaky and like won't be like me to the side when Sam's with me. Um, but anyway, welcome. Wanted to fill you guys in on what's been happening this past week. I've been very hush hush about it. Just, I mean, it's not a big deal. I just wasn't sure so I didn't want to talk about it. But you girl, it's developed a gluten intolerance. It's fabulous. It's what I get. Um, I thought that a lot of people who were gluten free, it was a choice. And the reason being is because every single person that I know that's gluten free, it's a choice. Um, I tasted my own medicine. It's bitter. This is karma. So about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I realized that I wasn't feeling the best after I would eat. The biggest thing I noticed was how swollen my face and neck would get and my tongue would get tingly. And I'm used to like a food baby, but it was like all of a sudden, like my pants didn't fit me. I would eat the same meal that I had eaten two, three months ago and had no issues and my pants, like I would have to unbutton my pants because they would, my stomach was so like big. So I thought, maybe this is just carbs. So I tried to do low calorie because I just thought maybe it was what I was eating, but I generally eat pretty low cal. So I, I just couldn't figure it out. And then something in me in the middle of the night, like last week was like, you have a gluten intolerance. Not, not celiac disease, I think is how you say it. I know someone who has that. I uh -uh, don't have that severe, but I looked it up and it was a list of like 15 things that you could potentially like signs that show you have gluten and I ha or a gluten intolerance and I had 14 of the 15. So I went low gluten one day, like no gluten and I felt better. Last night, you guys, I ate like I think it was rye bread at dinner cuz I was still kind of in the like denial phase and I was just like, "Oh, I think I have a gluten intolerance. I'm not entirely sure." I was writhing in pain. My stomach looked like I was pregnant, like full blown, about to give birth, pregnant. I've never experienced pain like that in my life, ever. So, your girl's officially going gluten free, cold turkey, not gonna deal with it anymore. There are so many people watching me vlog this right now. Okay, they were watching me vlog it because she thought I was gonna get out of this parking spot, but I'm not, I'm sitting here. So yeah, long story short, gluten intolerant it's my karma but um, it's it's not as hard as I thought to cut it out it's a lot of snacks a lot of pretzels I can't have um, but we generally buy gluten-free pasta from Lidl anyway so pasta is still on the table it's really just like bread and stuff so yeah just figure that update you guys on this lovely part of my life that came out of absolutely nowhere and hit me like a train I have never in my life experienced pain like I had last night I really like I got up and I was just staring at my stomach in the mirror and Sam was like are you okay and I was like I don't know I don't really think so and I, I mean on top of that I was in major pain so yeah I'm gonna eat my lunch now just figured out update you guys so I just got home look at oh Sally Ooh, Shaylee. Hello. Look, he lays down. He's fine. He's like, whatever. So, this is my brother's gift. He knows he's getting this. Um, my younger brother, he knows he's getting it because I asked him <laughs> if he had one. Um, so, I'll show you guys how to wrap this later because I got a lot of questions about that, actually. A lot of you guys said that I made wrapping look easy and you wanted to know how I did my bow in the last one. So I'll show you that in the later part of this vlog, but I came home and I wanted to show you what was in the mail. So I ordered these from Amazon. They're those little like cable clips. I'll link them in the description bar below. They come in lots of colors, but I got black because I figured Sam could use them too. So I'm gonna take two of these to work. 
So I also got this package from, I don't know if they go by MVMT or Movement, but they sent me this beauty. Can't even see it. Look at how pretty. I got the, I believe this is called the Hollywood is the name of this one. It's really pretty. And then they also sent me these glasses. Hold on. There's like no easy way to do this with one hand. But how gorgeous are these? I'll look rough because I just got home from the longest day of work ever, but I'll show them to you. Aren't those cool? So these are, does it say? I'll put the name of them on the screen. But yeah, I'm really excited. These are amazing quality glasses, like so nice. Okay, so now that I'm home, it is literally just now six o'clock. I'm going to go work out. Um, I'm gonna decide on dinner first. Oh yeah, we need to figure out what we're gonna do with dinner. So that I can start doing something with it. Okay, okay. Okay, get your bony little butt off. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? Um, I don't really know. I don't know what's in there. Oh! <laughs> Duh! I saw you had a ping pong ball today. Yeah? I know. Oh, you got itch. Ah! No kidding. Okay. Like okay. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what it looked like. Okay. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> Sam, help me. <laughs> okay. So let's figure out what we're going to have for dinner then. Because I got to go work out and then I got to wrap some presents for them. Oh, guys. I'm just terrible at vlogging this week. I said the other day I was going to vlog and show you um, me wrapping Christmas presents. And that was like two nights ago. I just didn't. I'm going to eat some cheesecake now and then go wrap presents. You know what's left of the cheesecake because my husband. It's the only piece I, I have left. Sam. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Is this the face of someone that feels bad? <laughs> good. I don't care. It's been in there since Friday. It has been. It has. It's Wednesday. Do not eat my cheesecake. Sam? I swear on everything. If... I think I caught that on camera. You want a fork? No? Are you going to steal my fork? I'm going to get you a fork. Well, I really don't want it. Okay. I'm not going to eat it. Good, then we can just put the fork up when we're done. Nope, that's on the counter. Now so. Be <laughs> You're so dramatic. Um, I didn't get a chance to tell you guys, like I said, I, well, I think my last clip I was talking about how I've been gluten free and I got some questions on my DMs when I shared that I was gluten free. Um, like it's a lot of people kind of made some remarks basically saying that I was doing it by choice and I was just probably... It was all in my head. Sam, would you say my gluten allergy is all in my head or my gluten intolerance was all in my head? Coming from the person who lives with me and saw the stomach bloat and heard me in pain? No. Would you I mean, say it was all in my head? No. Been gluten free for two days. Been very easy. And I feel better. I feel way better. Ooh! That is rich. How have you? That is the most chocolate I think I've ever had at one time. That's the same one that you had yesterday. Mm -mm. Mine was before? the one that had the white on the bottom and then the. Oh. I mean, it's good, but. In my defense, you know how it's supposed to be like two pieces each one? Mm -hmm. One of the things didn't get cut, so it was like a quarter of this was one big piece, so I just ate the whole. I was just like, yeah, you know, can't cut it myself, so. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. 
That's mm. just how it happened. Mm. I want to go get in bed. No. And if I fall asleep mm -mm. by nine, then I fall asleep at nine. How old are you? Old enough to go to bed when I want to. <laughs> That's how old I am. It is Sam. I'm, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'm so tired. It is 8.08. Oh, I didn't ask you for what time it was. I didn't ask for that. All right. Sassy, you need to help me wrap these presents. Okay, look at this. Look at this. My cats came in here the other day when I was not in here. It's coming to hang out with me. Love language. Quality time. Um, okay, so my brother knows that he's getting this, so he, it's fine if, like, you know, it's on camera. So this is the package. I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap, and then I'll show you one more in this box. It's my sister's, which is in here. I think I showed you guys that my cats demolished this bag. Completely demolished it. So no more bags, but this is my little wrapping station. And I was very surprised at how many of you guys said you wanted to see how I wrap my packages. I didn't, I actually was like, oh my God, they're gonna be like, wow, that's really pathetic how simple you do your stuff. But it apparently looks better than it feels like it is. <laughs> so I'll show you guys that now. Basically, um, I need to go get the packing tape. I do have to say it's much easier to keep the boxes that stuff comes in rather than um, buy a gift box because usually like this is the best safest package it could be in except for this it, Like it was in an envelope. So That's why this is in a different box All right, so I am going full tutorial mode on you guys today doing the voiceover part for this vlog But you guys asked for this so I wanted to share it I do need to say that there are probably like easier wrapping methods, but this is just the one that I've always known how to do. So this is just what I do. Um, I measure out the wrapping paper once I have the package like taped in the box and ready to go. I just close it on both sides. Now that wrinkle right there that you will see, do I have to say this is some pretty nice wrapping paper. We got it from Costco in like a set, um, but it is really thick. And so I actually struggled to wrap with this paper a lot because it is super thick. So like if you have a little bit thinner wrapping paper, you're obviously not going to have as many issues as I did. Like you're not going to have to fight the paper, but it does look way better when it's all said and done. Um, I cut the in excess like paper off and I usually will save that um, for like a gift tag or something. But in this case, it was just, I just tossed it to the side and then I fold in both ends. Um, and this is where you really are going to see me kind of like fight with the paper to get it to fold right. The main goal is just to have like the top and the bottom come to a point and then you fold the points together, if that makes sense. Um, Sam was a little bit shaky. Sorry, he didn't know I was going to be speeding this up. So um, we'll just have to like disregard that part. But basically this is it. It's very simple to wrap the presents like the way I do. I Like I said, I'm sure there are plenty of other methods but this is just the quickest one that I know and the one that like I've always seen so it works for me I do want to say you can definitely stand the gift up on its side like I have here after you get one side done makes it a lot easier but the little detail that's really going to make a difference is once you have the actual present wrapped and I'll show you it in one second is go around every single edge of the package and just pinch it like that to kind of make the ends a little bit more distinct, I guess. Now, this is the part that I know you guys really wanted to see, so I did not time lapse this at all. This is real time. It took less than two minutes to make this bow, and it's not super detailed. There are definitely like much like prettier bows out there, but I love how simple this is. It's easy to fix, it's low maintenance, and it doesn't take a lot of time. So I will take ribbon make sure it has like a little bit of wire on either end and I just tie it once around the package then I cut a second piece and kind of eyeball a just fake bow so like I see me I'm kind of shaping a little bow there with my hands and then I put it in the center 
and then I secure the bow and I'm really hoping that this is making sense. I'm secure the bow with the tie that I already had on the gift package. That is going to keep you from having to like tie the bow and then reshape it and then move it around. Um, I do make sure that before I tie anything super tight that everything looks fairly even. Um, you can go back and obviously fluff up the bow a little bit. And then here you go, you have four strands of ribbon that are hanging loose. So I usually will tuck one side under. And then this is the part that's just super simple but makes such a difference. I take two sides of the ribbon, I cut them in a point. I love cutting ribbon into a point. I think it looks so nice. And it automatically just makes the bow look like super finished. And it's so simple. That's all you have to do, it's like tying a shoelace, but just like with two sho uh, shoelaces. Like it's very simple. Um, that's all I really do to create this cute little bow. is the chaos that's left. I ended up having to clean that off. This thing is not as thick as I thought it was. Doug Lane with Daddy. Had to roll up that to wrap my brother's present. Look at this. Well, first of all, kitty in an instant pot box. This tree skirt, I don't know if I've talked about it yet. Y'all, it is so sad. I got a 30 inch tree skirt from Amazon. I thought this is a very slender tree. It will work. It's pathetic. It barely covers the legs. And so it was my fault because I ordered a 30 inch. I should have ordered the 42. It was like 15 bucks. And I was just like, you know what? I don't care. We'll trash it at the end of this year. So it's, it'll just work for now. But kind of regretting that because it doesn't hold any of the packages. But doing pretty good so far. It's only like November 20th. And we are brother and his girlfriend, brother and his wife, uh, sister, cousin. Two of my girlfriends. It's awesome. All right, love. Let's go to bed. I'm tired. We're peacing out. Sam did was a great what it was paperweight for the time being. He didn't help me wrap not one present. I have a camera. He did hold the camera. So. You want to go outside? We'll see you guys in our next vlog.